an update on Disneyland Singer Rider Chips here in our next episode of D3. <laughs> What's up everyone? Welcome to this episode of B3. In this episode, I'm going to give you an update on the efficiency of the single rider lines here at the Disneyland Resort. Let's go. First, as usual, I'd like to thank everyone for your continued support of this channel. If you like what you see, go ahead and click that subscribe button below and become a member of the D3 family. Today, we're going to try our new ride, six of the eight Disneyland attractions that offer the single rider option. We're going to try to ride a Matterhorn Bobsleds, number one. We're going to try to ride an Indiana Jones Adventure, the second, that's the second attraction. Next, I'm going to try to tackle Space Mountain. Then we're going to jump across to California Adventure and go and try to ride the Incredicoaster. Um, and over there, we're going to try to ride um, Goofy Sky School. That's another one. And on top of it off, we're going to ride the Radiator Springs Racers. Let's go check them all out. Okay, the first attraction we're going to try to single rider experience of is going to be on the Matterhorn Bomb Sales right behind me. Let's go. It looks like the single rider queue is moving pretty well right now here at Matterhorn. We're going to see how fast it's going to take us to get on. So I just got through doing the single rider for the Matterhorn. It was pretty efficient, folks. Only had to wait like about seven minutes. And the regular standby wait time is 60 minutes. So a very good option if you want to well, get on Matterhorn for a single rider. Let's go to our next attraction. Okay, folks, my next single rider experience is going to be Space Mountain, which is right behind me. Let's go. All right, folks, got a little bad news. Space Mountain is closed temporarily. The ride is down, unfortunately, so I can't do single rider today for that one. But I can just tell you this, the single rider for Space Mountain is very efficient. Normally, the longest I ever waited for a single rider for Space Mountain is about 10 minutes. It's pretty awesome when the regular standby line is about 75 minutes like to two hours. Yeah, so that's a good option. So. Like I said, um, single rider is always a really good option for Space Mountain. Next, we're about to test out the single rider for Indiana Jones. Right now, the standby time is 45 minutes, so just to be hitting this for the single rider for this attraction right here. We're going to check it out and see how fast it is. We're about to walk up and ask the cast member right now if single rider is available. Let's go check it out. Looks like we're in luck, folks. There is a single rider is available after all for Indiana Jones. Let's go check it out. All right, folks, I just got off a single rider for the Indiana Jones ride. The total wait time was only 10 minutes, folks. 10 minutes for a single rider. Pretty awesome when the standby wait time was 45 minutes. Let's go to our next attraction. All right, folks, the next single rider we're about to do next is Goofy Sky School, which is right behind me. All right, folks, there's literally no wait for a single rider here at Goofy Sky School. It's pretty awesome. Goofy Sky School right here, about to get on right now. All right, folks, I just got off of Goofy Sky School. The total wait time for a single rider was three minutes, which is insane. That's incredible. I went back on it for a second time and waited less than that. I waited for a total of two minutes for a second time. So to repeat, I did single rider for Goofy Sky School twice, and the total wait time for a single rider was five minutes. That's incredible. Let's go to our next attraction. All right, folks, the next single rider we're about to do next is the Incredicoaster, which is right behind you. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. So I just got off of their Incredicoaster doing single rider. The total wait time for a single rider for their Incredicoaster was, was about 25 minutes, which is not too bad for this ride, which is really popular. So the standby time for, for the Incredicoaster was about 40 minutes, which is not too long. So it could get kind of crazy. It could get up to like two hours slow. But 25 minutes is not too bad for the single rider for the credit coaster. Let's go to our next adventure. All right, folks, our last single rider experience of the day is going to be Radiator Springs right here. It's right behind me. Let's go. Look at this. This is incredible. Harley, no line at all for a single rider for Radiator Springs Racers. Incredible. Look at this. Almost straight up to the front. No way. And here we are at the front of the queue. For Radiator Springs Racers. All right, folks. I just got off of Radiator Springs Racers from Single Rider. The total wait time for Single Rider eight minutes, which is incredible. Single Rider is not that long. Usually not that long for Radiator Springs Racers anyway. But the regular standby time for Radiator Springs Racers is about an hour this time. So, but this is normally a long wait for this ride, but this is really good. So Single Rider, I strongly recommend doing Single Rider for Radiator Springs Racers. Well, folks, there you have it. We did all of the Single Rider attractions. I should say about five of the eight attractions here at Disneyland, at the Disneyland Resort. Um, we did not get a chance to do Space Mountain today because I think the ride was down, like I said before. 
also we did not get a chance to do uh, we didn't do Splash Mountain and the Grizzly River Run because it was cold. But those single rider lines are normally uh, five minute, ten minute waits on top, so on busy days. But if I had to do it again, I would say yes, definitely do the single rider here at the Disney Resort. With that being said, folks, this is this episode D3. Thanks again for watching as usual. Feel free to leave a comment below. And also uh, remember to follow me on Facebook. Twitter and also on Instagram, folks. Plus, we also added two new D3 members today. I uh, met today in line, so that's pretty awesome. Again, thanks again for watching, folks. See you next time.